A half the homes in Detroit were destroyed in the fire, and today we got to see some of the destruction for ourselves. Many heartbreaking images. Our Jacqueline Abad even got to ride along with the Idana Detroit Fire District. She's live tonight with what she saw, and Jacqueline, for so many of us who visited the area, this has to be even more difficult for people who live and work in that area and to see it up close, too. Yeah, it was very difficult, Elizabeth. And to describe what we saw, there are no words. I spoke with a firefighter who says the fire will do what it wants, and it did on one on one of the streets that we were on. On one side of the street, the houses were still standing, and on the other, the homes were destroyed. Take a look at this video. This is the Detroit City Hall. The, the fire district had an administrative office inside. Firefighters left their rig in order to evacuate 76 citizens. They actually brought them to the Mongol day use area before they were caravaned out. Today, I spoke with the fire chief who says he wants to thank the community for all their support, but more help is needed for those who haven't been able to go back. So I'm a little bit nervous about the longevity of the organization without any kind of a long term funding source. So any donations now alleviate that and allow us to move forward and rebuild in a positive um, position here in Adana help rebuild in Detroit when we get back to that point. Adana Detroit Fire District is made up of volunteer firefighters. Since they've come back, they've been working on fire suppression, checking in on homes and working to get back on their feet. Now, firefighters say there are many hazards like falling rocks and trees along Highway um, along Highway 22. ODOT is working to remove thousands of hazardous trees. Fire crews are asking people to be patient before they're able to be let back into their homes. We also saw power crews along the highway working to restore power in that area. Area. Still a lot of things going on in the Detroit Idana area to get things back up and running. We have information on how you can help the fire district on our website, coin.com. Reporting live in Marion County, Jacqueline Abad, Point 6 News. Jacqueline, it's certainly hard to wrap your brain around all the destruction. So let's turn now.